Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we've got a treat for you. We've got a used 2015 Hart Four Horse Living Quarters. Now this is an outlaw conversion. We are a new outlaw dealer with our Cimarron brand. Uh, so we really like to look for these used outlaw trailers. And one of the main reasons why is because we know that as long as it was well cared for, we're not gonna have quite the expenses as far as running it through our shop with the repairs on these outlaws. They're just, uh, the quality is there. They're really well put together. Again, as long as they've been taken care of by the customer, we don't have quite as much expense when we put them through the shop, like I mentioned. But when we bring in these used trailers, we do take trade-ins, we do buy trailers as well. So if you have some trailers sitting around, you wanna turn in some cash, give us a call. We'll offer you a buy bid on that trailer itself. But when we bring these in, since this one's a living quarters, we have two shops here. We have a household shop and a chassis shop. Chassis side, we'll have this trailer realigned. We do that to every single trailer when we bring them in. We'll service the generator, which this one's equipped with. We make sure all the brakes, all the lights, everything like that's taken care of. Adjust dividers if we have to. We really try to get these trailers in as new of condition. We're not gonna tell you they're new, but we want them to be functional and ready for you to go use and enjoy. And then in the household shop across the street, we'll have the living quarters gone through. We'll service appliances. We will check water system, LP system. We'll check the batteries on it. We'll go through the trailer very thoroughly. So again, you're ready to go enjoy the trailer. But like I mentioned, this one's an outlaw conversion. So we were able to get the drawing of this layout on this trailer itself. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. You know, we're dealing with an eight wide trailer. Uh, but this is a 17 foot short wall on this trailer. No slide out, but a 17 foot short wall. Really cool layout from the, from the standpoint of, you know, a lot of extra space. Nice big bathroom that we're gonna walk you through. Kind of a mud room that goes into that uh, bathroom from the, out, from the exterior of the trailer as well. Uh, but a really cool setup that we're really excited to show you here as we walk through this trailer. Before we do, we'll kind of start off here at the front end. We've got dual electric over hydraulic jacks. Just because of the size of this trailer, um, you know, a 17 foot short wall is a pretty good size. So with that being said, you know, we want to go ahead and make sure it's, it's uh, nice and stable. So having those dual jacks underneath it is really, really nice from that standpoint. They've also upgraded into the dual 30 pound bottles. Over the 20s, um, you know, you're really going to like this because you're not going to have to change these bottles out as frequently. Uh, our actual controls are right over here. They're, they're dual controls, which I like, the dual switches, because I can kind of walk this trailer. If I don't hit directly square underneath uh, the, the truck as far as the ball goes, I can kind of manipulate this, this trailer onto it itself. You've got your battery box. So it just keeps everything nice and clean underneath there. You know, Outlaw does a really good job on labeling everything. So uh, again, we, we know what to look for if we are doing some repairs or, you know, you have another shop taking a look at it. Can kind of point them in the right direction of that. So this trailer's 36 foot on the floor. We do have an official empty weight on it. It was a little over uh, 16,000. We've got it up on the website. Um, but I mean, you know, a new one ton dually you know, can definitely handle this trailer itself. It is a four horse, so this is a good look at this LQ that we were talking about. Again, an outlaw conversion, 17 foot short wall. So you have these dual entry doors. Um, what we'll do is we'll go in the front here and then we'll circle back through the LQ and we'll come out this back door right here. So again, a cool little mud room on it uh, as far as that's concerned. So as we work into this living quarters, uh, this trailer has been inspected. Uh, we've signed off on repairs. We're waiting on some parts and items like that. Uh, I know we do have to change a couple things. You'll hear the uh, CO2 detector squawking. A new one's getting put on it. Um, but if you look over here in the counter area, I mean, big, big counter space. This trailer is not equipped with a, with a two burner cooktop or three burner cooktop. So basically we have a microwave, a nice kitchen area with this nice sink kind of over here in the, in the corner, uh, but a good place to just kind of prepare food and kind of be out of the way. 
before we work off, I mean, you know, an enclosed front end with a pocket door up here in the LQ, a lot of storage. You've got a TV up there. There's also switches up there to turn the onboard generator on. So if you wake up on a cold morning or something like that that we're dealing with today, uh, that's why I'm a little bundled up. It's a little chilly here in Colorado, but you can fire up that generator from right, right up there. Flat screen TV. But this is what's really cool about this trailer and what a lot of people look for is dual seating, dual sleeping areas down here. So we have a dinette over here on passenger side. That'll break down into a bed. And then across from it, we've got a jackknife style sofa sleeper. So that'll lay down into a bed as well. But by having this, now you don't have to break down, uh, you know, a table from the floor itself. Uh, if you want to just keep this dinette area as just somewhere to sit and eat, you've got that. And then you've got the sofa area to relax as well. And then we've got the big 6-0 refrigerator freezer. So again, with traveling and this size of an LQ, it's nice to have a lot of extra space and a lot of extra storage as far as taking food with you. And then as we get into this bathroom, this is what's really cool. This is a massive, massive bathroom. I'll kind of step out of the way here so you can see it. But a nice, big, massive closet here. We've got a clothes rod. They've got some shelves in here to store some stuff. But really easy to access with having the dual doors high and low as well. And then over here in the bathroom area in the vanity, you know, big mirror, big counter space, which is really nice. A lot of these, you know, pretty much have a, a really small sink and no counter space. But here you have a lot of counter space because we don't have a pass-through door. When we don't have that pass-through door, we can make that counter a little bit bigger. And then back behind there, you're going to have your shower with a skylight and then a toilet around the corner. So like, this, is a, this is a big bathroom. I mean, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell because uh, we're both in here and I know you can't see it in person, uh, but if you come to the lot and you step in this, I mean, you're gonna be really impressed with the size of that bathroom. And then this is a really cool option as well. This is almost like a mud room that kind of steps directly into this bathroom. I mean, you've got a little bench here to kick some boots off. You've got a shelf, you've got, uh, couple more hat racks up there and then some hooks to hang some stuff but boy it's sure nice to you know after a long day of either competing or showing or out trail riding or whatever you're doing and enjoying this trailer you can hop directly in to that bathroom and again kick everything off and and get get showered up and and relaxed enjoying this trailer then you've got your big awning so this is a four foot offset with that being a 17 foot short wall. We have a 21 foot long wall. Uh, that right there is uh, probably a 20 foot awning on there, but it's got that cover. I really like those covers on them because it just protects that, that awning fabric from UV rays. That's kind of the, the big thing that usually happens. It's usually that first six to eight inches of an awning that just get eaten up by the sun. Uh, when you roll it out, the rest of the fabric's perfectly fine majority of the time, but it's usually that. But by having that protective cover on there, boy, it really helps from the standpoint of, of giving longevity to the life of that. I'm gonna go ahead and shut these doors because I also wanna point out a couple things on this. You've got some exterior speakers, so it's a great place to entertain out here as well underneath that awning. But this is kind of a charcoal metallic. It's like a real dark charcoal, uh, you know, color itself. Uh, it's become really popular over the last couple of years. So this trailer probably was a little ahead of its time as far as the color options go. Uh, and then when you mix it in with the aluminum, I think it really dresses up and it works really well with a lot of the new trucks out there today. But you've got your courtesy lights. Again, a great place to hang out. And then as we get back here, there's a couple things I want to point out. We've got a hay pod up top. So again, good, good storage up there, keeping everything nice and clean by having the pod. You've got a load light. The box behind it is going to be for our onboard generator. And you, I'm not sure if you can hear it. You probably can't, but that's been running this whole time. And then we've got the four drop windows. So again, a lot of airflow throughout this trailer by having these drops rather than bus windows. 
And I want to talk about a little bit about kind of circling back to our service aspect of it. But when we bring them in, we want to get them washed. We want to get them through the shop. We want to get them realigned. But then we also look at tires. So this right here, I mean, they, this was upgraded to these Alcoa aluminum wheels. I think really dress the trailer up. Again, kind of ties in really well. 17 five inch wheels. Now, if you look at the tread on these tires and the sidewalls, you're going to think, Man, those tires are in good shape. But I want you to notice one thing. This is one thing that we look at, is there's a DOT code on the sidewall of tires. The DOT code will have a sequence of maybe some letters and numbers, but then what we look for is these last four right here. That says 41 of 14. That means that these tires were manufactured the 41st week of 2014. Now as a dealership, and what we want is we want everything to be within five years of age. These tires are out of date. This trailer will go to the tire shop and have a brand new set of tires put on it. Even though these are real high quality tires, again, they're just, they're, they're older. That's, that's from the tire manufacturers. That's their recommendation. So what we want to do is we'll go and put a nice heavy duty set of tires underneath this trailer. Uh, so you'll have a brand new set on the ground here. Uh, but again, I just wanted to show that to you because these are original tires. Again, I'm, I'm not expecting this trailer to have a whole lot of miles on it based on its condition. And those tires, tires will tell us a lot. Tires will tell us if there's a trailer out of alignment, if we've got a bearing loose. Those type of issues will, you always need to look at your tires. And, and again, they'll kind of tell the story on a trailer. As we get to the back here, we have a single door with a single ramp over it. So again, if you've got a horse that prefers a ramp, you're set here. If you're not a ramp person and you don't want this, we can remove it and we can put a rubber bumper piece that'll go across the bottom of the trailer as well. So we can do that for you if you don't want the ramp. As we get into the stall area here, they had an upgrade on this trailer as well. Instead of the rubber mats, they did worm flooring. So again, this trailer is really well equipped. I mean, nobody wants to wrestle mats. This is really cool because now you can hop in here and just power wash this thing out. Nobody wants to wrestle them. They're like an alligator in my opinion. Uh, I, growing up, got the, the short end of the stick since I was a baby of the family and I had to clean out all the trailers and it's never fun pulling those mats and clean everything out. This just makes life a lot easier. Just muck out everything, your solids, and then just power wash it right out. But that's a cool upgrade on these trailers. Uh, it's, it's permanent, it's unpenetrable, so our urine doesn't get down to the floor itself. And then as we get in here, I mean, you've got the airflow padded dividers. At stall one, you'll notice that it is a stud divider. You'll see this rubber piece, and that's just as it comes over here to the actual wheel well itself but we have a stud divider, which is great for some additional storage if you need it. If you need this stall for that purpose, maybe you've got a horse that you just want to put up there that you need to separate and just a little bit, uh, you know, just kind of containing them a little bit more. And the other cool thing too is, is this is extended on this stud divider up front here as well. So, man, if you're traveling somewhere and want to haul a bunch of hay, Maybe you need to fill up the pod, but then take some extra stuff. You can stack it clear up to the ceiling and not have to worry about anything coming into the horse area itself. But again, the airflow dividers with pads, we can create a lot of airflow again with those drop windows on the hip wall, drop windows on the head side that I'll show you. And Hart, like our Cimarron's, those are the two manufacturers that come standard with an insulated roof on every single trailer. Uh, so we're big believers in those insulated roofs. It does keep these stall areas substantially cooler than aluminum sheeted. And then this is a telescoping divider at the back here. Now granted, it really doesn't come into this opening a whole lot, but it does stick out a little bit. So we can kind of shrink this down and shove it over against that wall a little bit more, keeping it out of the opening for the horses coming on and off this trailer. So because we have this single door, no door over here, Here's that ladder to get up top there to our hay pod, the platform for that generator, but that's a solid wall right there. And the reason why is we have this solid rear 
side tack on this trailer itself. But as you can see, we've got some blanket poles on the door. We've got a brush tray on the door. Then we've got some more blanket uh, poles up top on the post itself. And then you've got your four tier saddle rack. Those are adjustable. So those pads we can move up and down. You've got some hooks. It's all carpeted. And then there is, because there's no window on this, there is a two way roof fin up there. So if you need to air it out, you know, kind of get some air to maybe some, you know, just sweaty tack, some pads, things like that. We can go ahead and get them aired out a little bit as well. And then you also have, like on the LQ doors, you have this combo lock. So there's combo locks all the way around this trailer. So if you send somebody to the trailer, don't have keys and just the combos are locked, you can say, hey, here's the code. It's just a little handy to just run over and punch in a code and and not have to fumble with all the keys itself. Right ahead of that is our fuel fill for that onboard generator, which is nice because you can fuel your pickup up, pull up to the pump, put your gas in there for that onboard generator. And then here's a good look at our drop windows. You've got the jail bars. They can drop down if you're throwing some feed in there, some water, anything like that. And then from there, Below those are our mangers. So we've got some additional storage on this trailer. I have the mangers. There's also lights in here so you can see what you're looking at. In this kind of back corner right here at this back one, this is going to be our fuel cell for the onboard generator. So they did a good job. You know, Outlaw always does a good job when it comes to those, you know, not trying to eat up as much space and, and eat up a lot of your storage. So again, that's a, um, actually equipped there at Outlaw when they do the generators. Pretty much just the manufacturers will build the platform and the box and then send it over to the conversion company and they'll put the generator on the fuel cell. And then there is a drop window at stall one. So you do have that escape door. Like I mentioned, if you want to use this as maybe some additional storage, being able to access things on the road. If we don't have a horse here in this first stall, you've got that capability. But a lot of times manufacturers might just put a bus window here and that's it. So these guys have actually gone in and done a drop window. So again, we can create a lot of airflow through this trailer. There's a good look at that color again. You know, we're doing a lot more new trailers with that today. Uh, so again, I kind of feel it was maybe a little bit ahead of its time on this one. But if you're looking for a good size LQ and a four horse, you know, without a slide, some people prefer no slides on these trailers. You know, it's just one less moving part. But this is a really well cared for trailer. You'll be really happy with the condition it's in and how it's equipped. I'm going to give you the stock number on it. Again, it's a 2015 Hart Four Horse Living Quarters with a 17-foot outlock conversion, non-slide, hay pod, onboard generator, 5U211-723. So if you're interested in it, maybe there's some other uh, used living quarters you're looking for on a three horse, maybe some different size, give us a call. We're always looking for trailers. We're always getting some things in on trade. Maybe, maybe we don't have something online just yet, but we know here in a month or so, we have maybe what you're looking for coming in on trade. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.